Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm excited to unbox one of the latest releases by Davidoff of Geneva, the 2024 Year of the Dragon limited edition Zodiac cigar. Davidoff of Geneva, of course, is doing some of the finest New World cigars out there, and I must say they've really uh, hooked me with their Zodiac series. Uh, whenever it first came out, uh, I was a little bit skeptical of it, uh, but uh, year after year of absolutely exceptional releases, I must say, I've become a fan and started collecting these absolutely extraordinary annual releases uh, for my humidor. So in today's video, I'm going to talk through the most recent release, the 2024 Year of the Dragon. Davidoff does not disappoint whenever it comes to their cigars, but whenever it comes to their annual limited edition uh, release uh, within the Zodiac series, they also never cease to disappoint whenever it comes to their packaging. Of course, the 2024 Year of the Dragon is no exception. The packaging of this cigar is amongst the finest in the entire world whenever it comes to limited edition releases. Uh, so this is the Year of the Dragon right here. Uh, and I am going to show you uh, in all of its full glory. Uh, now, this was limited to just 5,160 boxes of 10, uh, and each box uh, is this incredible lacquered box showing the scales of the dragon and beautiful gold lettering. You have Davidoff, you've got the symbol of the dragon, of course, and then Year of the Dragon. Again, every year Davidoff is really pushing the limits with their packaging. Uh, just when you think it's impossible to create an even more fabulous uh, package uh, for cigars, Davidoff uh, somehow uh, uh, magically comes up with something even better than the year before. Uh, this Year of the Dragon is an interesting box format, something I've never seen before. The front lid actually pulls off via this magnetic tab, and then inside, it reveals uh, a really magnificently placed and very precisely placed tray of 10 cigars. There's a few things, a few details about this that I'm going to show you uh, that even after handling this uh, still never ceases to impress me. Uh, so whenever I pull this out, of course, you see uh, those absolutely magnificent cigars. Place this up for us to see and then take a look at these, right? So beautiful red ribbon, the pull tab right here. I mean, really makes me think of my Goyard, um, uh, Goyard brand book I have in the corner. It has a very similar uh, feature in it on the way that the book is accessed. And then here we have 10 uh, beautifully wrapped, absolutely glorious uh, double Corona cigars. Uh, this is a 50 ring gauge by seven and a half uh, with a beautiful dark wrapper, absolutely a beautifully uh, wrapped and beautifully presented really as one uh, has come to expect from Davidoff, which is setting the standard uh, in New World cigars. Uh, absolutely extraordinary cigar. So I'm gonna set this aside right here. And um, uh, whenever I buy a limited edition box uh, such as these, I always make a point also to buy a few uh, single sticks. The reason being, you've invested in this incredible box with its beautiful packaging. Uh, there's just something sacrilegious of uh, pulling a cigar from this, at least prematurely, uh, breaking that series, in this case, 10, um, you know, by uh, selfishly uh, smoking uh, one of those beautiful cigars. So I, I, uh, if I can, always make the point uh, to either buy multiple boxes, which in this case I wasn't able to, uh, or buy a few extra sticks as singles so that I can smoke them uh, over the years to really experience uh, this cigar without having to break into the actual box. So one of the first things that you will notice immediately uh, are the multiple bands. Uh, now, whenever it comes to limited edition releases, uh, it is uh, very common to find a secondary band indicating uh, that particular release. Here we have, of course, this beautiful red uh, band saying Year of the Dragon. Uh, but you'll immediately notice that there's a really interesting band on the foot of the cigar uh, that you haven't found in the other uh, Zodiac releases uh, from Davidoff. Now this is a really special and really unique uh, in what this is concealing. In this particular cigar, what you'll see uh, is that here on the foot of the cigar, there is actually an unwrapped portion of the cigar itself. So you have this beautiful Ecuadorian wrapper, right? But here on the final centimeter of the cigar itself, uh, they have been able to basically expose the binder uh, that uh, would go underneath the wrapper that is, of course, binding together uh, the filler. Now, uh, this is really interesting because when you're lighting this up, uh, it lights differently uh, than uh, if it was uh, wrapped. Uh, and it is allowing you to experience some of those initial flavor notes uh, without any of the flavor that the wrapper would impart. Uh, 
Uh, now, most will tell you that the wrapper uh, doesn't have too much influence uh, on the flavor of the cigar itself. I mean, it should be no huge surprise. The wrapper is a small percentage of the overall tobacco by weight, but still, to be able to smoke this particular portion of the cigar unwrapped, uh, again, is quite unique and is one of those innovations uh, that Davidoff has really brought to the market through their Zodiac releases uh, year after year. So uh, this is the first that I have ever seen this uh, as a production cigar, uh, and you have it here first in the 2024 Davidoff Year of the Dragon. Uh, now, as I said, the wrapper is Ecuadorian, that beautiful dark color uh, that we have uh, uh, come to expect from Ecuadorian wrappers. The binder is Dominican, uh, and then the filler is comprised of Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Mexican tobacco. Uh, so there is quite a variety of different tobacco being used in this blend. There's a total of eight different tobaccos being used in the production of the cigar, uh, and the uh, aggregate sum total of all of its age is 60 years, taking you back to 1964. Uh, which uh, coincidentally and certainly by no mistake was also uh, a year of the dragon. Uh, so there you have that absolutely uh, beautifully uh, constructed uh, here. And again, uh, you can never fault Davidoff in their absolutely flawless execution. Uh, perfectly rolled uh, cigars with perfect draw uh, and always flawless uh, in its presentation. And here uh, with the 2024 year of the dragon, again, it is quite exceptional. So Davidoff, of course, is stepping in to the uh, Zodiac Mystique uh, with full confidence. Uh, and included in some of the marketing material that they've released for this is an actual description uh, of the Year of the Dragon, some of its unique legend. The magical smoke, which has spiraled through countless stories, curls upwards from the cigar of the aficionado, who is the noble, powerful dragon, a born leader. Their knowledge and presence inspire others to follow and follow willingly. From their mouths comes not only fire, but eloquence. A dragon speaks passionately and persuasively. Their strong sense of ambition gives them wings to fly towards their dreams. However, sometimes their powerless can make them overconfident and their tempers can be quick to ignite. But their charisma will always soothe any troubled waters and capture hearts, for the dragons have the aura of the mythical. Everywhere they go, they are accompanied by mystery and good fortune. Luck, as well as endless energy, helps them achieve their goals. Success gained, what better way for the dragon to celebrate than with these equally legendary limited edition Davidoff Year of the Dragon cigars. There you go. In posingly double Corona formats, their scale is worthy of the largest character in the entire Zodiac. Flavors of fittingly flame-roasted nuts, honey, and dark chocolate woven and blended with the imagination of another world and dramatically lit by the dragon's fire. Uh, so I think, again, uh, one of the ideas with this unwrapped portion of the foot of the cigar is that whenever you do uh, light it, it does ignite, uh, let's say, uh, quite dramatically. So you end up with actual kind of jumping flames uh, as this uh, is being lit because you have this unexposed binder uh, right here that burns faster than the wrapper itself. So uh, quite interesting. So this is a great example of Davidoff uh, continuing to uh, push the boundary and fully embrace this Zodiac series. Uh, now there's a few other accessories that I just wanted to show you. Uh, again, if you're looking to go full dragon here, I mean, it was a pretty convincing uh, story right there with the dragon. And maybe you're thinking if I smoke one of these year of the dragons, I'm gonna be somehow uh, imbued with a few of those characteristics of that Davidoff explanation that we had right there. Uh, and if that's the case, we've got some other accessories that of course that you would wanna have amongst your accoutrement as you go full dragon. Uh, one of them is this beautiful Essie DuPont uh, porcelain ashtray that we have. Again, this is in that red that perfectly matches uh, that beautiful box. Uh, it has two places for cigars. And again, that dragon uh, right there uh, in the number eight, which is the lucky number eight. Um, so there you have that. This is made in Limoges. We have this available online at kirbyallison.com. Uh, so this is, of course, once you've already begun enjoying that cigar. But what about that moment whenever you ignite it? Well, SD DuPont has thought about that also. Uh, and they have made a beautiful collection of two different Align 2 Perfect Ping lighters. Uh, this one, again, shows that beautiful red enameling. Uh, that perfectly matches that ashtray. It has a, a different design to the case, kind of showing those scales. 
Uh, and if you can uh, indulge me for one moment, it also has that perfect ping uh, that, of course, uh, I think is one of the most iconic elements of uh, uh, SC DuPont lighter. Absolutely incredible. Uh, so this is gold and red. Uh, and then if uh, you know gold isn't your color of choice, you prefer something slightly more subtle. Uh, they also did this uh, in a palladium and black enameling again uh, with that same design, uh, but slightly different. I'll hold these two kind of right here together. So if you're looking to go full Zodiac, there we have it between these absolutely incredible cigars from Davidoff uh, and these accessories from SD DuPont, uh, you absolutely can't go wrong. Now there's two other things that I uh, promised that I would show you. And one of them is one of these characteristics of the box that I uh, just recently discovered that really is quite astounding. If you look inside, there's actually two separate rails, right? That this cigar tray perfectly matches up to that in there. And so whenever you have the tray fully inserted into the box, you have a channel of air below the cigars and a channel of air above the cigars. So again, it's really quite exceptional because it allows these cigars to slide uh, into uh, this box uh, without risk of having the tray uh, fall on top of them and crushing them if it was upside down, God forbid, but also for air to continue to circulate. Uh, and again, it's just one of those characteristics with which uh, Davidoff has approached the packaging here for Year of the Dragon that I think uh, is really uh, quite exceptional. Uh, and then you put uh, this magnetic lid on, right? And again, it perfectly just snaps in there, right? I mean, it's really, the precision here is quite exceptional. I have to say it's, you know, whenever I saw the packaging, uh, you know, normally, I'm not a huge fan of expensive packaging because you're paying for that just as much as you are paying for the cigars. But in seeing these beautiful presentation boxes inside by Humidor, uh, I really, uh, I must say, was convinced or won over uh, by the value of the presentation there. And amongst the uh, Zodiac series, uh, this Year of the Dragon is another absolutely uh, slam dunk from Davidoff. Now to show you um, kind of the evolution in the packaging, I've got last year's uh, Zodiac series, which is the Year of the Rabbit. This was another uh, absolutely exceptional example of Davidoff's uh, packaging. Now again, magnetic lid, uh, which pops off, uh, and then it reveals the inside of the box. And then right here you have uh, this little wooden uh, overlay. And then you open it up uh, and inside, again, you've got those 10 You're the Rabbit Davidoff cigars, which are perfectos uh, in this case, right? So double figurados. The way that this is designed is meant to really invoke the imagery of a rabbit's uh, little, I don't know what you'd call it, not nest, but like, you know, little tunnels uh, that they burrow into the ground. So again, you know, Davidoff using even the packaging is an opportunity to be very thoughtful in the way that they're designing the boxes. Uh, and so again, very unique, uh, very exceptional. And I think that, um, you know, these Davidoff uh, Zodiac releases, uh, now, despite my initial reluctance, which now I'm regretting because to be honest, I mean, these Year of the Dragons sold out in the United States, I think in less than a week. So if you're watching this video, I'm sorry, you can't find them. Uh, but um, as you can see, uh, absolutely exceptional packaging. So uh, there we have it, the 2024 uh, Year of the Dragon. Uh, maybe this is the cigar uh, to smoke on New Year's. And I bet that at some of the Davidoff boutiques around the country, you might still be able to find these. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. I mean, as you all know, I'm not a massive collector of New World cigars, but Davidoff really um, doing absolutely exceptional work uh, with incredible blending, absolutely exceptional packaging. And so these new Year of the Zodiac, I think have firmly landed uh, on my list of a box that every single year without exception, I'm going to be collecting now. I only wish that I hadn't been so stubborn and had started earlier because those earlier releases, you just simply cannot find. Uh, and so just like the uh, annual regional release uh, from Hunters and Frank Cow uh, for uh, the English market selection, uh, which I collect now religiously every single year. These Davidoff Zodiac cigars are on my list of cigars that I will be buying uh, really until they stop. So there you go. I'm Kirby Allison. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, go visit kirbyallison.com where you'll find the largest collection of luxury garment care and luxury shoe care accessories in the world, as well as other great clothing accessories for the well-dressed, like this beautiful Jag card, sovereign great tie, 
pocket square, a socks, cigar smoking, accoutrement, and so much more. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see all of you soon.